Happy Earth Day and welcome to National Wildlife Federation's fourth annual Chill Out Awards. I'm David Mizajewski, a naturalist with National Wildlife Federation. And I'm Elisa Reyes and we're your hosts for today's program. Today, National Wildlife Federation, along with our sponsor, the Candida Fund, and our many partners, recognize five campuses that are taking big steps to reduce their carbon footprint. These campuses show the nation that we can dramatically cut global warming pollution while saving money, providing leadership opportunities for students, and having some fun along the way. While we showcase these five leading colleges, we also want to celebrate all the other students, faculty, and staff nationwide who are taking action on campuses to cut greenhouse gas pollution. College and university leaders are stepping up and the rest of society is noticing. If campuses don't lead in cutting global warming pollution, who will? Chill Out is the nation's only competition focused on seeking out and celebrating the most innovative solutions to dramatically cut campus-wide greenhouse gas emissions. Chill Out honors students, faculty, and staff who are confronting global warming pollution and leading our way to a cleaner, more just, and prosperous energy future. National Wildlife Federation's goal for society and for higher education is to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by at least 80% by 2050 or sooner. To avoid the worst impacts, we need to reduce emissions as soon and as much as possible. The world's top scientists warn that if left unchecked, global warming will have a cascade of negative consequences, some of which we are already seeing. Today's honorees take this message to heart and are taking bold actions now that can lead us to a more sustainable future and smaller footprint for everyone. The nation's two-year and four-year colleges and universities have a measurable impact on the U.S. economy and its greenhouse gas emissions. Collectively, they spend over $360 billion annually and hold roughly the same amount in endowment investments. This year marks the 40th anniversary of Earth Day. In 1970, on the first Earth Day, 20 million Americans participated in events nationwide in parks, auditoriums, capitals, and streets for a healthy, clean planet. Dennis Hayes helped to organize coast-to-coast -coast rallies, helping people with diverse environmental interests realize they all share the common value of a healthy, sustainable world. With leadership from Senator Gaylord Nelson, Dennis Hayes, and many others, the first Earth Day spurred the creation of the Environmental Protection Agency and the passage of the Clean Air, Clean Water, and Endangered Species Acts in the following years. Every year since 1970, people from all walks of life have come out to celebrate Earth Day on April 22nd. This year's 40th anniversary is a time to reflect and celebrate all that we've accomplished to protect the planet. Unfortunately, it also reminds us of how far we have to go. Today we are facing one of our biggest challenges ever, global warming pollution. Scientists know more than ever before about how the Earth's climate is changing and what that'll mean for people, habitats, and wildlife across the planet. The evidence shows that human activities, like burning fossil fuels like coal, oil, and gas, are likely responsible for most of the warming observed to date. By passing federal climate legislation that puts a cap on emissions and switching to more renewable sources of energy, we can respond to the challenges science is demanding in a meaningful way. Not only is solving the climate crisis good for the planet, but we can create two million jobs by investing in clean energy. As a leader in environmental education and advocacy for 70 years, National Wildlife Federation is now putting the reality of climate change and its consequences at the forefront of the American agenda. The Chill Out competition showcases bold solutions that will show how we can truly begin to end our addiction to fossil fuels and move towards a safer, cleaner, just future for everyone. Past winners of the National Campus Chill Out competition have ranged from small private schools to community colleges to large universities. Check out some of our past winners. Whoa! Where are we? May I present to you the Eco Village. A community where students live that's ahead of its time. The Eco Village is designed to use 75% less energy and water than a comparable apartment complex through the use of solar panels, clothesline dryers, and an ecological machine that converts wastewater into swimmable quality water. We weren't just giving away light bulbs and um, getting carbon offsets. We were also helping educate people about sustainability. So Jack Pass is a, it's a universal bus pass for students. Jack Pass is a really cool program because it came from the students here at Humboldt State. The fuel cell project started as a state incentive uh, grant with a one-year construction time frame and Cal State Northridge took this as a student, faculty and staff project. 
I believe it's very important to address the issue of climate change because this is our environment and we are the future, so it should be dealt with now. As, as college students, I think we're in a really unique situation to make a difference um, in policies and how we behave in society. The main thing is uh, behavioral to get people to change the way they act and the way they think. And I think the emissions trading scheme ties into just that, where you're having people actually think, why should I turn off the lights? And then there's pond scam. While others see corn-based ethanol as solving our legal problems, driving up grocery prices, who needs that? Or in the lab, working with simple algae to create advanced biofuels. Pond scum can save the world. Being outside in nature brings out creativity and imagination. Inspiration comes in many forms. Some find it in music, others find it in art, and many find it in poetry. My name is Poetry. Green is the color of happiness. You didn't know that, did you? I mean, green is a warrior, confronting global warming like a superhero. Yeah, super green is the thing, you didn't know? Good thing you got a green poet to tell you so. Chill out. You can be down with the greenness. Go to campuschillout.org and get your green on. Plant a word and make a poetry. Spreading the green from sea to shining sea and watch smiles grow like wildlife. Yeah, green, green makes the world right. Tune in and chill out at campuschillout.org. Peace. Without further ado, let's get to the winners of this year's National Campus Chill Out Competition. The winners have reduced their emissions by over 40,000 metric tons annually. That's equivalent to emissions of almost 5,000 homes, or the same as taking almost 8,000 cars off the road for a year. This year's campuses took diverse approaches to reducing greenhouse emissions, some using behavior change and some making shifts to various technologies. Georgia Tech won the best video prize for having the most votes on their video. Here's a look at their array of projects, including football game day recycling, a community garden, collaborating with dining services, and more. We are students organizing for sustainability and environmental alliance at Georgia Tech. Our goal is to help phase Georgia Tech and Metro Atlanta into a more sustainable future through student initiatives. Here are some of our highlights. In 2008, Georgia Tech started game day recycling to encourage football fans to recycle. We pass out blue bags where they can recycle plastic, glass, and aluminum all in the same bag, making it very convenient. In the first year, we recycled 11.8 tons. In 2009, we recycled 19.2 tons. And next year, we're hoping it will be even better. <laughs> Another one of our projects is Starter Bikes, a partnership with the Atlanta Bicycle Coalition. The student volunteers repair abandoned and donated bicycles and donate them to the Atlanta Bicycle Coalition, who distributes them to people in need of affordable alternative transportation. This is a great opportunity for students to learn basic bike repair and more technical maintenance. We believe we've rescued over 150 bicycles from landfills and hope to increase that in future years. So we have a couple different campaigns going on regarding sustainable food systems. The first is the Community Supported Agriculture Program that we brought to campus about two years ago. We also have a really popular and quickly expanding community garden. But probably our most successful initiative has been the Sustainable Food Committee with Sodexo, our on-campus food vendor, which has resulted in more vegan and vegetarian options, a trade initiative, tens of thousands of dollars in local food purchases, a recycling and composting program resulting in a 90% waste reduction in both of our dining halls, and multiple educational campaigns. As you can see, we have been working hard, and that is just a few of our projects. Going forward, we are perfecting our current campaigns and always adding new ones. Georgia Tech is ready for change, and we are ready to revolutionize the way campuses approach sustainability through technology and community. So remember, tune in and chill out! Woo! More than 4,500 people viewed Georgia Tech's video entry, which received over 600 votes. Students, faculty, staff, and even frogs and bears have worked with National Wildlife Federation to inspire people to take action and clean up our planet. Take a look. Hey, Fuzzy, it's really nice out here, isn't it? Yeah, it's great. Back to nature, huh? Yeah. Hey, did you catch anything yet? Yeah. Wait, wait, I think I've got something. Yeah, come it, I, I got it. Come it. That's the third can I caught today. How'd those things get in there? Well, people sometimes wander by and just toss stuff into the water. And there's a lot of other stuff that people put in there that you can't see. 
That's what pollutes the water, you know? Why would they do that? I don't know. I guess people just don't think about it. Hmm. But don't they understand how important clean water is to, to fish in and to swim in and to make a decent glass of lemonade with? Yeah. We all forget sometimes. Hmm. Water is something we have to conserve and keep clean. Sounds easy enough. You know, if you'd like some free tips from my friends at the National Wildlife Federation on how you can use water wisely, write to Kermit, National Wildlife Federation, Washington, D.C., 20036. Who are you talking to? Hmm? <clears throat> Western State College of Colorado won the Students in Action category. Students are a source of energy on campus. They often spur administrators to action. Students working with each other and faculty and staff can make dramatic changes in behavior, policy, and even infrastructure on campuses. Throughout the years, many faculty and senior administrators have told us that students have much more power and influence than often they realize. Luckily, the students at Western State College of Colorado knew this and took action. The students have been a key force in many of Western's sustainability initiatives. One initiative is eight years in the making, working towards a sustainable food system, and it all started with students. What you doing? Just chilling out. Hey, did you hear that the National Wildlife Federation is having a film contest called Chill Out? No. Yeah, colleges and universities can show what they're doing to cut carbon emissions. Um, we don't know anything about acting or filmmaking. And besides, Western State College of Colorado's problem is not chilling out. We need warmth. Students have done tons to help cut carbon emissions at Western. We can make a film about students passing an environmental charter. Or encouraging President Hellman to sign the President's climate commitment. <laughs> or initiating a sustainability fund from student fees. Or installing solar panels and the free bus system. Or the three new LEED certified buildings. Or what about the progress we've made in the sustainable food cycle? Some woman started the whole process eight years ago. My goal was to take the student food waste and turn that food into compost that can grow even more food. But we had some challenges. What's a compost? We needed a culture change, and we needed a more effective composting strategy. National Wildlife Federation provided us seed money through the Campus Ecology Fellowship Program. We made a lot of progress with that money, but there was still a long way to go. Now we can put our food scraps into the pulpit. It comes out of the pulpit, and students were awarded a grant for a composting earth tub. The rich compost will then go back into our community garden in the summer and into the greenhouse year-round. Look at all this fresh winter produce from the greenhouse! Remember when we had a huge carbon footprint from hauling our food in and out to Western thousands of miles? That was so 2010. Now we can keep our bodies warm while helping the Earth. Chill out! <laughs> we can't wait to hear about all the great meals that come out of the campus greenhouse. Thanks to students like those at Western State College of Colorado, campuses nationwide are looking at their food systems, energy usage, and more. Tune in and chill out at campuschillout.org. Students who've led successful climate action initiatives usually admit they couldn't succeed without the support of faculty and administrators. At this school, with over 200 student members in its Youth Climate Action Network, Students won the Cutting Edge Research and Design category by teaming up with faculty and staff. In order for us to collectively reach the emissions reductions necessary in the U.S., we're going to need to use existing technologies and invent new, more creative designs and technologies. This school has created unconventional new designs and applications for green roof technologies. Not only does this school have a green roof project designed and in the works to be built, but the students have developed sustainability curriculum to go with it and plan to expand it to other schools in the state. This winning school is the oldest public school in the nation. Can you guess who? These students are also the youngest winners in today's program, coming from Boston Latin School, a high school in Massachusetts. About a year ago, we started the Massachusetts Climate Literacy Campaign, which was an effort to get um, climate change curriculum required in Massachusetts state schools. 
So what came out of all this idea developing and thinking was a green roof. We worked with a local architect to develop the plans that we have now, which is innovative, um, huge amount of um, diverse features that help all different kinds of students um, with different interests be able to connect to it and learn from it. Well, I really like the idea of the Green Roof Learning Lab because with having a classroom outside on the roof in an urban setting surrounded by lush vegetation, it's, I don't know, a hands-on experience in you know, the environmental movement. Starting now, living, breathing panels will grow on the roof of BLS. Another thing is uh, the data sets not only are applicable to schools, but really all other parts of the city could learn from the data that we can potentially collect about um, rooftop energy. So we want it to be hands-on for other schools so they could come and take a field trip. And additionally, we've even explored the possibility now of working with an outside partner like the Food Project to have a summer camp. We really have made um, a key part of this project engaging um, other groups. Specifically, we've been working with Boston Latin Academy. Our idea is that we can partner with them to develop sort of an action plan over once you have the materials, how do you really make the best of it, take advantage of it. We're PLS Youth Camp. We want you to tune in and chill out. Completing an energy audit and developing an action plan, students at Boston Latin School have worked with teachers and staff to reduce school emissions by 50 tons annually, and will reduce another 150 tons this fall after completion of a lighting retrofit in the gymnasiums. Woo! Hey everybody, I'm Johnny Appleseed, spokesman of the Green Train, and with the National Wildlife Federation, we want you to tune in at Chill Out at campuschillout.org. Yeah! Students and innovation are crucial to creating the low carbon campus. The question is, will there be new green careers and jobs for students when they graduate? At Central Florida Community College, the answer is yes. Community colleges are the largest training ground for technical and semi-professional job development and educate more than half of all the college students nationwide. This puts them in a position to provide students with opportunities to participate in the emerging green economy and can be the driving factor in the creation of local workforce partnerships between employers and workforce development organizations. Central Florida Community College is ahead of the curve and won the Green Jobs and Education category for spearheading a program with workforce connection to create the West Ocala Green Job Coalition Training Project. The project provides job training to dislocated workers and low-income adults while improving their overall economy and quality of life in West Ocala and has partnered with other local organizations, churches, and government officials. Today we hear from the students of the program and how it has affected them. This is a weatherization training module trailer. We actually did learn how to do the floor door test. We did draft testing there. We did monoxide testing, CO2 testing. Well, for one, it helped me financially, stabilize with me in a secure job, being able to provide for my family. Also, making improvements on my home in order to cut back on utilities and to save money. Part of the arrow points to the north, the red or the white. Mm -hmm. See it? Right now, the right. 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 sunless path is going to go. It measures your sunlight and it detects your shadowing. So you can get the best sunlight, the optimal amount of sunlight for your solar panels. Around the world, the people in Germany and Africa. Um, then take advantage of this uh, green environment situation and then design uh, new technologies. Right here would be considered as an array, being that it's more than one panel. If it was just one panel, it would be considered as a module. I'm a carpenter by trade, but um, I was unemployed at the time when I came into this program. The 
aspect of knowing, you know, about the energy footprint and, and how much it's going to impact the world over, you know, is important and it puts us on the ground floor of it. How awesome to hear from the students of the West Ocala Green Jobs Training Program. This program is an outstanding example of community colleges training people of any and every age for the new green economy. The training these students are receiving is helping to lead the way for future green jobs training programs. Campuses often take on an array of various projects, but when these projects are coordinated into a climate action plan, huge reductions can happen. Creating a climate action plan is a crucial stepping stone to organize all the incredible efforts by different groups on campus and to be able to track the work that is being done. Three of the key ingredients to a successful climate action plan are student energy, innovation, and green jobs. The winner of this year's campus actions category is a school that has a project from composting to creating biodiesel to energy efficient heating and cooling. All of these projects are wrapped into a plan to become carbon neutral by 2040, making it a true climate leader. Congratulations to the University of Arkansas for winning this year's Comprehensive Campus Actions category. The University of Arkansas recycled 1,893 tons of materials last year, reducing greenhouse gas emissions by 1,779 tons. Cans, bottles, and paper are collected in recycling bins in every building on campus. Our print shop recycled over 2.7 tons of printer's plates and film. Last year, we recycled 12 tons of mercury-containing light bulbs. 45 toneladas de demolición de construcción son recicladas. Surplus property reused 420 tons of furniture and equipment. We recycled 25 tons of tires, automotive batteries, solvents, antifreeze, used motor oil, and oil filters last year. 20 tons of scrap metal were recycled. Batteries and other e-waste were recycled in handy boxes all over campus. We composted over 530 tons of leaves, grass, and wood. 15 tons of waste vegetable oil from campus dining halls were converted into 3,050 gallons of biodiesel. Razorback sports fans recycled over 109 tons of cans and bottles last year. We're the University of Arkansas, and we're hogs that don't create waste problems. Over the past five years, we've spent $52 million on building energy conservation and central plant energy efficiency improvements on campus. As a result, we're saving $4 million per year on energy bills, and we are avoiding over 43,000 tons of greenhouse gas emissions each year. We're redesigning interior lighting by reducing the number of lamps used, upgrading ballast, and installing occupancy sensors and reflectors. We're retrofitting nearly 400 fume hoods in labs across campus, saving hundreds of thousands of dollars on energy used by vent fans and reducing the amount of conditioned air that they eject to the outdoors. We're improving control of HVAC systems by adding improved carbon monoxide monitors sensors that control room temperatures, and state-of-the-art computer controls to heating and air conditioning systems. By 2021, we'll use only half of the fossil energy that we would have without these programs. Our energy conservation and efficiency work paves the way for solar, wind, and biomass to make us carbon neutral by 2040. With more than 25 sustainability projects happening involving students and staff, University of Arkansas has set an aggressive course towards carbon neutrality. Congratulations to this year's National Campus Chill Out Competition winners. Each of these campuses gives us hope and inspiration, showing how students, faculty, and staff are working with passion, courage, and a little bit of humor towards a clean and sustainable future for all of us. You said it. <laughs> Getting together with a group of friends is the way to make a real difference. This group has even made a checklist and divided up the responsibilities. We can take some hints from this menagerie. All right, penguins, make sure we're not wasting water. Gotcha. And rats, check that the house is properly insulated. Aye, aye, aye. And the Bessie, mm -hmm. make certain we're recycling all our bottles, cans, and paper. Gee, Piggy, what can we do to help the environment? Let's not waste electricity! What? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah! 
Uh, to find out what you can do to help, write to Make a Difference, National Wildlife Federation, Washington, D.C., 20036. Lights out! Ah, me. Happy Earth Day, everyone, and welcome to the Campus Chill Out Competition. I'd like to begin by thanking all of you, especially the students and faculty on our nation's campuses, for coming together to meet the challenge of the climate crisis. The work you do sets an inspiring example for all of us. You are demonstrating every day that the United States can dramatically cut global warming pollution right now by increasing energy efficiency and using more renewable energy. This is a time of big ideas and big changes. It's a time for new energy and a whole new American industry. Most importantly, it's a time for action, and you are at the heart of it all. We believe that innovation and education together is really the cornerstone of our future, especially when it's applied to making sure that our most deepest public policy problems are being tackled, including global warming and sustainability. The fight against global warming will create a new green revolution, I think an economic renaissance, and our school campuses are leading the way. I want to thank you on behalf of the department for your work and leadership and innovation and education and mostly helping solving the world's, some of the world's biggest problems. What you've made happen on your campuses is something that you can now take out into your communities. And if it happens in your communities, then we can join together to make it happen all across the country. And if we can do that across the country, then we know that we can make it happen all over the world. That's how a movement starts. We have a chance right now to turn the tide on climate change, to build a clean energy future, and to save our planet. I hope you'll keep pushing to green your schools, your homes, and anywhere else you go. The EPA is going to be right there with you. Thank you so much. Some political leaders have long stood up for wildlife, people, and the environment. Others haven't. It's time to tell all our political leaders that the time for action is now. When I was born, climate change was a problem. When I was in elementary school, climate change was a problem. When I was in high school, climate change was a problem. And when I was in college, climate change was a problem. We've waited a lifetime for the leaders of this nation to take action on climate change. When we were kids, our representatives failed to act to protect our future. Well, we're not kids anymore, and if our representatives won't fight for our future, we will. We want action now. We're calling on the Senate to pass climate legislation now put a cap on greenhouse gas emissions, expand the green job sector, and lead the way towards a global clean energy economy. This, this is, is our, our future. future. We have the most to gain and the most to lose. Let's take action now for a better tomorrow. We can't afford to wait another lifetime. Visit CampusChillOut.org now to tell your senator we can't wait. Thanks for joining us for this year's Chill Out Awards program. We hope you are inspired to take action on your campus and on a national scale by contacting your senator. Remember to visit campuschillout.org after the program to see more campus videos and to take action on climate legislation. Working together, we can create a clean, just, prosperous world for everyone. Chill, Chill out. out.